The first letter of St. John, and we believe this is John the Evangelist, is teaching us about the implications, the consequences of belonging to Christ and having the faith we have received. In some sense, concreteness, concreteness is everything in this first letter of St. John. Concreteness. What do I mean by that? Well, it is rather complex, but we can do something. We can get something. Let me remind you that most documents we have in the New Testament were written as a response to some threat. For example, take the first letter of another apostle, first letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians. There's a lot of stuff over there. Different discussions, problems, division, misunderstanding, and the Apostle, in that case Apostle St. Paul, goes step by step addressing each one of these issues. So you have this problem, my take on that problem is this one, what you should do is this. And then another problem, another trouble, another difficulty. This is something we should bear in mind constantly, that the writings we have in the New Testament are not just pious reading. And I say that word with all respect. It is not just pious reading. It is something that was written in the midst of the battle, in the midst of difficulty, in the midst of discussion. In the case of the first letter of St. John, clearly there are some adversaries he's, he's clearly addressing and even more clearly he's trying to keep the flock of the Lord faithful to the teaching they have received in the first place. That's his main concern that that teaching couldn't be in vain, couldn't be lost. That cannot happen. So she's, he is teaching them how to address the difficulty, the confusion, the misunderstanding that comes from another preacher, from different preachers that have come to the community and are telling the people different things. For example, they are saying that your faith consists chiefly in some knowledge you have. And if you have that clarity and if you have that knowledge, that's everything you need. So the first letter is telling the people, is telling this community, it is not so. It is not only about having some knowledge. It is your life that should speak that you belong to the Lord. So it's not only what is in your mind or what you say it is in your heart. It is your behavior. It is your way of life that has to cry out, I belong to the Lord. And that means that the gospel is not just some sort of philosophy, is not just some sort of teaching, it is, it is about lives that are transformed by the power of God in such a way that they become God's discourse for the world. Would you mind keeping that foremost in your own behavior? That your life should cry out, I belong to the Lord because He has transformed everything I have, everything I am.